Bouchard, Chris in Long Island, New York. Well, welcome to Coast. Uh, say hi to David Wilcock. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Dave. How you guys doing? Doing good, Chris. Well, I have a question for David in terms of reading his new book, uh, The Ascent Mysteries, which I'm very enjoying very much. Thanks. And one of the chapters was um, Nikola Tesla, the P. P. Peterson, the Nikola Tesla Black Ops. Yep. Is one of them is about Black Jesus, where the ascended being appearing in Africa. Yep. And I just want to know if you know any more information you would share with us, because I thought that was very captivating to me. And I just wanted more information on yeah. it. Yeah, uh, the Black Thank Jesus you, Chris. story. The Black Jesus story was uh, probably one of the most shocking things I ever heard. Um, it came from my insider uh, Jacob. I call him that in the book, who actually was working for the Rothschilds and still does, and um, also is a whistleblower who doesn't really do what they want, but continues to work for them because he feels like. There's some very serious extraterrestrial threats to Earth and that what they're doing is very necessary to protect us. So the story goes that in the 1960s, there was a black man uh, in Africa who came in with abilities complementary to those of Jesus. And uh, he was performing miracles. He was starting to get people to listen to what he had to say. And the cabal tried to kill him, and, you know, they could shoot him in the head, and his skull would just regenerate, and the flesh would grow back, and uh, he was fine. And, uh, you know, so the crazy story that I heard, which, and, and remember, I was told at the time that if I disclosed this, that I would be uh, killed, and I ended up putting it in the book anyway. Um, but the story was that this guy, uh, you know, they finally said, okay, we're going to bring you to the United Nations and share your message with the world. Let's get you on this flight. They, they bring him on this flight, and instead of bringing him to the United Nations, they shot him repeatedly and then actually had some kind of meat grinder device uh, and basically like a bandsaw, I guess, and sawed up his body into a whole bunch of pieces, put him in these very... Uh, very like radioactive shielded uh, containers and then had all these fighter jets dock with the plane and fly his body parts to all corners of the world where then these containers um, uh, turned them into ash. And uh, they thought that maybe this would defeat him, like that his body somehow, the tissue was necessary. So if they destroyed all the tissue in all these places across the world, maybe they could defeat him. Well, he then regenerated in, in their offices and was fully fine, fully intact. But the sad part is that he said, you know, I, you guys so badly do not want me to be here that I am not going to be able to do any more. You're going to get what you want. But bear in mind that in the future, many others like me will be coming, and when they do, you will not be able to stop us. Wow. Wow. Well, that's that is a... all I know. Unfortunately, right. there's nothing more to the story than that. Um, I, I incredible. Just that, but it is an incredible story. Incredible. Let's go to Wildcard. Thomas, right here in.